potatoes, I pop a potato, come back to this paper, I'm toting the block, got a beam like a laser. Ooh, we gotta go see you later, we right back in Vegas, don't want from the shady, we slap from the hating, a rich slimy baby, he smoking some fader, why still super wavy? Hey, so uh, what are we gonna do today? Oh, I know, let's uh, let's watch a movie. Fuck you guys, I'm going home. So, Kugisaki, do you wanna go watch the new Worming to America movie? What the fuck, no. What did I tell you about that weird shit, bro? Stop. This is exactly why nobody wants to hang out with you outside of missions. Ella, if you'll excuse me, Sephora has a 30% off sale for... I don't even know what Sephora sells. Just fuck off, alright? A few moments later... Ah, welcome back to the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. My boy Itadori finally unlocked his shy love interest badge, and Kugisaki essentially gave this man a full court pass like Kevin Love. He's the only one near the hoop. This is a chip shot. No way he doesn't fump. What's wrong with you, man? You got food out there, you ain't hungry! Okay. Anyway, do y'all see this face? What's the timestamp on this video? Like two minutes or some change in? Three minutes? I don't know. Do y'all see this nigga's face? Take a good look at his demeanor because this is the very last time you see him or anybody else in this show genuinely happy for the rest of the series. Anyway, Utah, Hime, and the gang prepared a backdoor of the traitor who was revealed to be Mekamaru, but then when they pulled up on his supposed location, he wasn't there. He was instead meeting up with Geto and Mahito, and they decided to fix him up because of some shit he did to help them. I, it's been a long time since I've seen season one, I don't know. Anyway, right after healing him though, Mahito crazy ass wanted to run the ones for some reason with a freshly re unhandicapped man, so he was like, nah, fuck that, and hopped in his Evangelion bag. Then he seen that they both survived that explosion, and he realized that it was like a 67.8% chance he was about to get jumped. So this nigga started watching game film mid fight and then beamed Mahito's shit. Somehow Mahito survived that shit, but look at this combo. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the whole fight. Mekamaru would be like, okay, yes, I'm gonna do this. Hours sitting in that stinky ass tub reviewing film has led me to this moment. Everyone, I'm coming. My precious Miwa, I can't wait to be engulfed in your simple domain. Ninja art, special beam cannon! And then Mahito would be like, then Mekamaru would be like, okay, that's alright, because I still have several secret trump cards due to my excessive amount of film watching. Get ready to die with this. Water breathing, first form, Getsuga Tenso! And then Mahito would be like, Then Mahito caught him in a domain and then just pulled the ethernet cable from him, but Mekamaru was prepared for that. He told Mahito to go fuck! himself but like actually that that's pretty hard i ain't gonna lie that man forgot he was a side character for a moment he was feeling himself he tried to challenge ghetto and got his shit whacked they didn't even give my nigga a death scene or nothing they just skipped to them doing post-game interviews that's 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 crazy now it's 7 p.m at night in tokyo shibuya to be exact but it's halloween the citizens are rejoicing having fun i'm gonna tell y'all now it's not this peaceful I've been to this exact street like five or six times. At this exact time, it ain't nothing but tourists, aspiring influencers trying to get their clips in on the street, idols trying to sell you their mixtape, and drunk people. Like I, I need, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny either. Like I'm, I'm dead ass. It, it's still cool, but like for real, just, that's how it be. Anyway, essentially, what's going on is that this is a zombies lobby, and all of these niggas got left behind by the last bus. And it was from here on where this series went from cool, upbeat, interesting fighting show to depression anyway all the sorcerers got the word that shit was going down so everybody pulled up itadori was with mei mei and her brother look at this shit here man w mei mei setting a good example for her little brother and shit what a role model anyway she told yuji to go handle the curse that was right below them while they go chill off screen and he went down there and ran up on this locust curse and bro was trying to prove how smart he was but yuji wasn't trying to hear that shit he just walked up and started whooping this nigga ass they don't call him left right man for nothing you know like look at his hands bro it's no reload timing whatsoever he just put a switch on his shit man grasshopper man was getting butt matched this is how niggas fight in street fighter when they get you on the edge of the screen for real anyway when gojo arrived on the scene he got pulled up on by the bench warmers and they thought that they had a plan to fuck his shit up 
Ghetto gave him the whole game plan, coached him and everything. That boy Jogo thought they had this shit in the bag. Yeah. It's mad humans in this bitch. We got him, y'all. We got him. He ain't getting through this shit. On my soul. We about to whoop this nigga. Ah, that's a nice arm you got there. It would be a shame if I twisted it. <laughs> Go on, Jogo. ourselves into what is this i don't get it he just threw him boy. he's really beating our ass to freeform jazz this is unacceptable hey 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 gojo oh, look over here I'm, I'm gonna kill these humans hey there zebra cake get fucked by the power of magnetism Anyway, Jogo shit his pants and started trying to run. He was even throwing humans at him, but apparently the plan was to get Gojo to go try hard mode, and that's exactly what happened. Mahito popped out the train with all those transfigured humans, and Gojo said fuck anime and turn into the Flash. Like, what exactly is this dude's power? You you can't touch him. He's throwing colors at you. He can fly. He can move at supersonic speed. Like, like what the fuck? Somebody nerf this man, please. Anyway, after he cooked, he was super out of breath. That man was just tired, dehydrated the whole nine. And that's exactly when Ghetto pulled up and Cuz turned around and saw his boyfriend and immediately went into shock. It's really insane, bro. Closest thing in the show to a guy and he's damn near untouchable. Can't nobody fuck with him, but let him see that dude with that bang on the left side of his head and he's going to get fucked up. It was Gojo to me? Huh? Well, he's a pretty good mentor, and he's also pretty funny, you know? Well, he kind of adopted me after my dad just randomly disappeared. Uh, he's an idiot, but he is pretty strong. Yeah, whatever, nigga. Fuck your montage. Gate close. And then, after the being inhabiting Ghetto's body showed him that he was, in fact, not Ghetto, Satoru Gojo was vaulted. <laughs> Yuji got word of what went down from Mekamaru. How is that even possible? Isn't bruh dead? Like, what the hell? Anyway, he told Yuji to go let everyone know what just went down. So Yuji went to some building and started yelling to get Nanami's attention. And Nanami showed up, but he told his young boy to supervise Megami and Yuji. Anyway, because Gojo was sealed, all the delinquents came out of hiding. So they pulled up on him and started throwing hands. Like, like they didn't even use no real sorcery. It was just pure beat that nigga ass. I know Megami was using his Shikigami and Eno had his little technique, but look at this shit, man. This do that nigga cuff as game plan. Megami missed his shot and was like, get him, Yuji. And, and Yuji threw a car at him. And then once Megami figured out the technique, they started jumping him. Damn! They hit him so hard it replayed five different times. Meanwhile, dude, Eno was fighting transformed into Toji and gave him a ass whooping. Yeah, I got this. I'm gonna be a grade one sorcerer, just like Megami and Yuji even though I'm older than them. <laughs> anyway, after dude turned into Toji, Toji's body basically took over the nigga's soul, which is actually insane. And so after dealing with that, he went after the grandma and was like, back to the lobby, Baba. Meanwhile, Yuji was running down into the subway where he got caught by Choso. And Choso was trying to spin for his brother. So he started spamming his curse technique on Yuji. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, he was cooking him for the most part. But then Mekamaru popped in Yuji's ear and told him to go to the bathroom. Hey, you there with the fucked up haircut. That little blood manipulation shit is cool, but how about you put the curse technique down and fight like a real nigga? Bet. That man, Yuji, said, what the fuck is a curse technique? He don't know what skill is. All he knows is, I'm left, I'm right, I'm right, I'm left. They was in that bathroom squabbling. This is how shit got handled in high school, man. It's getting too grimy. Niggas was getting punched in the face, bounced off walls, bit. It was looking clean for Yuji, but Choso had one more bullet left in the chamber and shot his ass in the liver. Yuji was still trying to box, but Choso handled that shit with ease. Meanwhile, Mei Mei ran into Ghetto, and she was trying to fight him, but he was like, man, hell no, smallpox, I choose you. And then he just walked off, so she had to fight a literal disease while her brother stood there and watched her. Man, what a great mentor, bringing along the young man for missions so he can get a taste of what it's like to be a Jujutsu sorcerer. She's such a great role model, such a great big sister, man. I'm really excited to see what happens to her character in the future. Nanami managed to catch up with Maki and the old man, and as they walked through the station, they ran up on Red Squidward. I'm sick of being labeled a curse. It's derogatory. 
You know, names. I just went like to you Best Buy the other day. Is to be the guy who was helping Racial me look for a TV started blabbering on about frames per second. We so I asked him what he meant, and he explained that the most television shows operate at either 30 or 60 now. And then he started showing me clips of 40K, uh, 4K, I mean, 60 FPS anime fights. Uh, what the fuck are they talking about? So then they started jumping Red Squidward, so he unleashed his domain, Madagascar, Bikini Bottom, whatever you want to call that shit. Then he started fucking all three of them up. He had Nanami in a blender, Maki was getting folded like an omelet, and Obito, I think that's his name, he lost a whole arm. But then Megami showed up and tried to help the others escape, but... Those who inherited the curse of the Zenith Clan, the one who couldn't fully leave behind that curse, they would all bear witness to the one who is free. To the one who left his son behind and his overwhelming amount of old child support. Son, but Wait, what? No, stop. I'm have to hey, that's that. mine. Oh my god, he has so much aura. I can't believe it. Toji. <laughs> 71 years. I don't think I've ever wet myself. Until now. He went straight after Red Octopus, split the sea like Moses, and smacked the <laughs> shit out of him. I'm so fucking story at random times to do cool. Ha <laughs> ha, get fished. <laughs> what the fuck? That was weird. Anyway, he served Octopus Man the greatest combo of all time. He was moving so fast, they couldn't even finish animating this shit, bro. Octopus had enough of that shit, though. He trapped him under some fish, then trapped the fish under a whale, and then trapped the whale under another weird-looking a bug or some shit, he still broke out! Then Toji started piecing him up with nunchucks like this, th this is bullying, man. Squidward tried to buy himself some time, but then the old man came in and threw a lob, and Toji caught it, finished it, but not before doing a 360 behind the back between the legs extra ass combo finisher, and then completely sunning the curse, and then he took his actual son outside for a fight. Before the others could even react to that, Gojo pulled up and literally grilled them. He turned the old head into a well done steak. But then he felt that aura and then ran to it immediately. Oh my god, this finger looks disgusting. Girl, stop playing and put it in his mouth. Okay, okay, chill, but what should we put for the Instagram caption? WAIT! DO NOT GIVE HIM THAT FINGER! Ew, what the fuck? Is that Mike Wazowski? And his head is a volcano, what the fuck is that? You know what? Fuck y'all. How dare they try to upstage me by being the ones to feed Daddy Suka to his fingers. That right only goes to me. Hey, don't ever disrespect me like that. Wait, wait. I had an arm a second ago. If you don't get your filthy hands off of me. <laughs> okay, that guy is not real, man. He's not fucking normal, girls. Are you scared? Yes! Good, because I'm fucking terrified, bro. Your heads are quite high given the circumstances. Oh! Okay, what do you want? We, 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 we want you to get the curse out of Ghetto's body because we truly love Ghetto. Raise your head. Seeing as you gave me a finger, it brings me great happiness to tell you that I don't give a shit! <laughs> Baby, go! Baby, go! Baby, go! What's wrong? <laughs> Why, psych? <laughs> Die! Volcano. What do you want? Nothing. What? Well, it's, it's just that you're, you're, you're so cool, and, and I would love to work as your subordinate. Fight me. What? Get up and fight me. If you land even a punch. I'll let you follow me around. What the fuck did I just get myself into? Come on, son. Let's have some fun father-son bonding time. Dad, I, I, I don't like this. Nah, relax. It'll be fun. Ah! 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. That's the spirit. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not ready. Just let me get ready. Wait, wait, wait. The car. Why is this happening to me? I'm always 16. Bro, this fight was crazy, because the thing about Toji that always be smoking me is that this is a show about magic and curses and shit, right? And he don't have an ounce of them. So, so how does this power imbalance get resolved? Well, well, that's easy. They just made him fucking Superman or some shit. Or Homelander. Well, what? Like, did this nigga just throw a car at Megami who was like five stories in the air? Could he go band for band with Sukuna? What is this? But Megami realized he was about to get dropped, so he was getting ready to summon Big Raga. Shit, did you know that Hulu had live sports? Yeah, uh, I'm subscribed already. Huh, nice. Uh, well, 
Guess I'll kill myself then. And that's exactly why I believe Lamar Jackson should win MVP. The award is for most valuable, not best stats. I mean, I see your point, but I just think that same statement applies to Christian McCaffrey. The Niners wouldn't be shit without him. Plus, him and Lamar basically play the same position. Oh, you racist piece of shit. You've done it now. Sorry, but I'm gonna steal your screen time. <laughs> I'M HAVING SO MUCH FUN! I'M NOT! This man, Sukuna, was whooping that ass so bad that he inadvertently gave him a tour of the city. What's funny about this, though, is that Jogo would come up with some crazy ass fucking move. Like, look at this right here. Volcano hands, grabbing two buildings, sandwiching one person together, and Sukuna would be like, I'll kiss you on your forehead, nigga! You a little ass boy! Volcano Man was in his head absolutely befuddled. He was like, oh, how is this possible? Uh, I knew he was stronger, but what the fuck? You're a special grade, but you aren't a special grade if you catch my drift. What could possibly be the difference? Presentation! That man was terrified, bruh. And shit, I would be too, bruh. Look at this shit here, man. This evil Wojak ass face. This. I'm up to no good. For real. Ass face, what the hell? Jogo threw a fucking meteor at him, so he ran over to the side characters and was like, <laughs> Andy's coming. Didn't let them move until the last second. I, I don't even know how they escaped. What type of shit is this? Can everybody just move like a superhuman in this show? What the fuck? Then he ran up on Jogo again, and they got ready to trade final blows. But hold up, look at bruh face right here, man. You could tell this nigga didn't even want to shoot that shit, bro. He, he knew his time was up. He didn't even believe in himself. They didn't even give him the decency of showing his final attack. They just skipped right to his end of match cutscene. Meanwhile, Megami was getting his ass third party by this level one crook, and instead of using like minimal effort to delete him off the face of the earth, he decides to skip like seven levels of danger and chooses the self deletion option. <laughs> Dude, you're so fucked, man. Like, I, I would just stab you and claim that I did all the work, but like, you're about to die. <laughs> He's summoning a Shikigami. Is this your first time summoning? No. This is actually my last. Oh yeah, right, I forgot, because you're about to die. Nah, I ain't dying. We dying. What are you talking about? I, I don't think you said that correctly. Enjoy the CPU. What? What the? What, what is that? No, 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 okay, okay, chill, bro. I'm just, I'm just a level one, man. I just got here. Chill, chill, wait, wait, wait. That man Sukuna wasn't even over here, bro. Even though he was surrounded by nothing but ash and fire, his smoke detector went off and he teleported to Maharaga in record time. And yeah, this shit cool and whatnot, but I'ma be real, we need to have a conversation about this man. This is one of the few villains in anime that do this shit just for the love of the game. Cause while Maharaga is fucking him up, you would think he's writhing in pain or some shit, or just yelling in pain, or angry or something, but instead he's like, <laughs> oh yeah! Punch me harder, big boy! Oh yeah, just like that! You got a fucking fetish for this shit or something, I don't even know. Everyone within a 10 mile radius is scared shitless, and he's like, More! We need more! And bro was getting car spammed at him, so he just decided to turn everything into mincemeat. Like, like, jeez, man, this, this was a terrible time to be in the Tokyo metropolitan area. Then he started spamming Maharaga with lines and shit, and was absolutely filleting the city. Then he hit him with his domain expansion. Let Sukuna cook. And then added to it with that little fire arrow shit. Like, this nigga just casually destroyed an entire city. And to think this never would have happened if them girls and Jogo would have not fed him some fingers. Like, like, if we being real, they had no business doing that shit anyway. What in their brains made them think that the king of negativity was gonna work for them just because they gave him, like, a couple fingers? What the f***? This is some bullshit, man. I can't believe I didn't call out from work today. Well, on the bright side, I can just claim injury and go home. Watch Gilmore Girls. Or maybe I can go to Malaysia. Yeah. Malaysia sounds not. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. That man Nanami got hold, man. They set my mans up. What type of death is this? He went from folding a nigga to getting jumped by some AI. And right after he finished him off, Mahito popped out ready to send this man to see God. 
and Mahito evil ass planned this shit out too. And not to mention, this show also evil as hell too, because why did they replay the same scene twice just so we could see Yuji watch his OG get slept from his point of view? Mind you, it's only been like five minutes since all this shit with Sukuna just happened. And it gets crazier, because when Yuji starts yelling and screaming, Mahito starts screaming back at him like, is, is that not crazy as hell given the situation? And then he immediately blitzes him right after. I don't even know what it is with main characters, man. This dumbass nigga was still trying to have an ideology off with a curse. But after Mahito locked him in that chamber, his theme song started playing and he locked back in. That's a small ass space to be getting down, but best believe they were still getting down. These niggas hate each other. That was a good first round. Let's get negative. But they were scrapping on the elevator, on the stairs. Mahito was using humans, Gear 5, Shadow Clone Jutsu, and he was fighting Nobura only so he could bring her half dead body to Yuji and sleep her in front of him. What? But Kugisaki ain't no punk. She baited him and then spiked his shit so hard the real Mahito felt that. And then Yuji started putting the paws on this quilt face fuck. He said, roses are red, violets are blue, I got a hundred plus outgoing missiles, and they're coming directly at you, bitch! Oh, but Mahito is like a twisted combat genius. He's not even in this shit to overpower him or nothing. He just wants to shatter Yuji's soul. So he still went through with his plan to pop Kugisaki in Yuji's face, and he did just that. Rest in peace. Then he started speed blitzing Yuji. That man wasted no time putting him through walls and shit. Whole time, Yuji ass not even there. He's about to go get an autograph from Tupac, and he's not even mentally present. And then Mahito got the finish him notification, but he started trolling, and then... Hey, Curse. What kind of bitches are you into? You know, me personally, I like tall women with big asses. But not on no artificial shit. All natural type shit. Even though my literal crush is like paper thin and short, but whatever. Toto in the building. Haul it back. That man Toto gave Yuji a quick pep talk and got right to work. He started toying with Mahito, but that was only because he already knew his brother was cooking up the fattest, juiciest, most luscious, black flash known to man. Look at the impact. Then they started working with his ass, no co-worker. Then Mahito tried to split them up so he can take down Toto, but then he was like, Neurodivergency is the true essence of the soul. I realize that now. Thank you, brother. All of these colors, they're so vibrant. Yes, this is it. Hey, Curse, bear witness to the power of undiagnosed autism. Black Flash. Somehow, though, Maito survived that shit, and they took it outside. But now Maito was the one cooking. He had Yuji playing Slitherio while Toto was trying to fight two max level bots. Then he activated his domain and got rid of Toto's hand to stop Boogie Woogie. Damn, man, Toto is cooked. It's Jover. Wait, what the fuck? It wasn't real? The thing about Boogie Woogie is you need two hands, yes. But it was never specified that another person's hands couldn't be used. So Toto dapped him up and Yuji fucked him up. But then after that, Mahito had an off-screen epiphany and transformed into his final form. But left right man wasn't scared at all, dropped the theme music. He just spammed the square button until the triangle circle icon appeared over his head and fired a piss missile into that nigga's chest. And it was right there where Mahito realized it was Jover. I want you to know this, Mahito. No matter what, I'm in that ass. Ten years from now, I'm in that ass. A hundred years from now, I'm in that ass. Even if you die here and reincarnate, I'll reincarnate too and get in that ass again. Even if you somehow manage to get with the woman, while you're getting in that ass, I'm in that ass. Even if you don't have an ass, I'm in that ass. Yo. Here we go, Ghetto out here, man. Another bailout situation for this bum-ass team. I cannot believe this. Huh. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, he, uh, ate that nigga. Look, I I'm dead. I already know I'm trash, but look, before I log off, I just want to get this off my chest. Do not go fight them niggas. Y'all are trash. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. Like, y'all are so trash. I want you to know that I'm talking to you. So I'm gonna say your name, and then I'm gonna call you trash. My Zenin, you trash. Momo Nishimiya, you trash. Miwa Kasumi, Miwa, 
I just temporarily reanimated, so listen to me when I say this. You are trash. Now don't get me wrong. I deserve to die. I tried to play both sides. I am not disagreeing with the decision that the writer made, but I let y'all get on that train to go from Kyoto to Shibuya. I deserve to die for that. Y'all are not gonna do shit. I seen the tape. My Zenin. If I see your name mentioned as an up and coming sorcerer again, I'ma kill somebody. I better not hear your name compared to Maki Zenin, or I'ma come back to life and kill somebody. I don't want nobody to say Ma Zenin and Nobu Kugisaki in the same sentence, in the same paragraph, in the same essay. Oh, and before I log out, Iori Utahime, you trash. I know you thought I forgot about you, but I did not. But yeah, my battery about to die, y'all. So y'all need to go somewhere other than Shibuya. Maybe Yokohama or something, or fucking Hokkaido. I just don't go to Shibuya, nigga, please. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, let's check in on great role model Mei Mei and her adorable younger brother Yui Yu- OH MY GOD! really discuss something man these niggas right here have to be some of the most useless characters ever we got an international threat right here right and what does grade 2 sorcerer momo throw at him a gust of fucking wind then miwa came out here with this bum ass sword and gave herself a binding vow talking about even if I can never swing this sword again. And it's broke. Then my bum ass with these one bullet ass guns. This nigga is a sorcerer. What are you doing with a green honey rifle, my guy? Anyway, everybody finally caught up to run the fade with Ghetto. We're all prepared. Ura Ume showed up as well. It's about to go down. But then Choso comes running in with his that DNA test him. claiming Ghetto was his dad and Yuji was his brother. And the vibe formerly known as Ghetto was like, <laughs> Yeah, I did that shit. Yo, do you know that guy? Hell nah. Anyway, Choso goes after Ghetto, or what is assumed to be Ghetto, and really does a whole bunch of nothing. Like, like this man is not getting scratched at all. And then Ura Ume comes in and freezes everyone and goes straight for the kill on Yuji, but off screen save. Hey, Ghetto, you didn't answer my question from all those years ago. What type of women are you into? I hate to be the one to mess up your character intro, but. <laughs> I'm actually into men. Okay, whatever, Gato. What kind of guys do you like? Fuck. Anyway, so Gato pretty much explained his whole master plan and shit about how he's been scheming this for like a thousand years and nobody has a bigger brain than him. You know, real yap fest. Then he dips and now the streets are just reacting to everything going on. Okay, guys, we are here live on the scene. Ah, oh, fuck more of this liberal bullshit. Take Curse your meds, Carl. Yeah, so as you can see here, this building right here is on fuck. Where'd you go? <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuta finally takes a break from eating jollof rice and decides to contribute, but then decides to go after Yuji for taking Inumaki's arm. Like, when, when did that shit even happen? Keto got the death penalty. Gojo got convicted of mass murder. Yuji is to be executed. The, the principal is to be executed for teaching Gojo and Keto, and, and Yuta's supposed to do the dirty work? What? Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh... That's how that went down. <laughs> Follow me on the gram and Twitter. I'm out. Peace.